Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sending peace and the prayers upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaykh is welcoming everybody for that live fatwa uh, from Mishka Center. Tonight is the night of Eid. Alhamdulillah, we have completed the month of Ramadan. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it the best way. Hopefully, all our sins are covered or wiped out. And we get the best reward out of that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala return to that month uh, to us many, many times, many years. This is a reminder. A reminder about what is called Sadaqat al-Fitr or Zakat al-Fitr. This is the time, or actually this is the end of its time. There is a hadith of Ibn Abbas said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prescribed that zakat uh, al-fitr uh, as a purification of the of the sa'im to purify to purify his fasting of whatever he did during this month of Ramadan like a wrong saying a wrong doing whatever he he committed so that zakat al fitr is going to purify that siyam. <coughs> so whoever, whoever, whoever uh, does it or do it before the Salat of Eid is acceptable. And whoever done it after the Salat of Eid, it's just a sadaqah of all types of sadaqah. It's not sadaqah of fitr. <coughs> so the default in that type of zakah is to give it away as ta'am, as food. This is what the uh, a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has uh, or have told us or have informed us. <coughs> it's a is to give it away as uh, money for the benefits of the receiver or the recipients. If, if it's not easy to give like uh, crops or wheat or rice or whatever, so you can actually give instead uh, uh, money. Some of the scholars, among them Al-Hasan al-Basri and Ata and um, uh, uh, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz and al thawri and Abu Hanifa and many others, they 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 uh, uh, they said they have actually witnessed uh, uh, a lot of tabi'in a lot of good righteous people that would give it away as uh, uh, money instead of uh, the food do not pay that after or do not give that away after the uh, after uh, the salah of eid if you give it after the Salat of Eid, it's just a Sadaqah. It's not Sadaqah of Fitr. Some scholars said, or they agreed on, if you do not pay it on its time, so it's just a, a loan in your neck. So a debt on you. You have to pay it. It's actually the right of the people who should re uh, receive that. Sometimes you, you would actually give it to some people to give it to, there is like an uh, uh, intermediate between you and the one who is uh, deserve, deserving that, the recipient of that zakah. Once you give it to his hand, that that intermediate, it's a given. <coughs> so uh, as as long as it it's in the hand of that uh, uh, intermediate or intermediator uh, guy, it's it's done on your behalf. 
There is nothing wrong to take this zakat al fitr to some people who are more needy than the people in your, for example, your city or your town or your country. Or, for example, the people uh, who are more relative or re your relative because the sadaqa of the, you know, the relative or relatives are good sadaqa and also like silat rahim. It's a kinship. <clears throat> the most of the scholars uh, said if you give uh, uh, your zakat of fitr like, like if you want to give that sadaqa on behalf of somebody else you have to get his permission. Like if he does not allow you to do that, do not do it. Because it has to be uh, 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 after his, he has to be uh, uh, getting, uh, uh, you know, like notified about that. So again, it's not, it's not correct to pay this zakat on behalf of somebody unless that somebody give you like a permit or a permission to give it on his behalf. <coughs> Sheikh said there is another idea that sometimes the masjids, they do that. They have like uh, announcement again in the, in the masjid that whoever would like to pay zakat, he can just... Uh, 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 you know, like register or put his name in that list. Then the masjid will pay all this zakat to everybody. And later on, those guys can actually pay the money to the masjid. So the masjid is going to be like, uh, uh, on, be on my behalf, he is going to collect the money from me and pay it to the needy or the poor people. Sometimes we, uh, you know, like we are kind of late of paying this zakat to people. So that has to be studied or has to be uh, determined based on the situation. As Sheikh says, sometimes like uh, that that sh should not be actually given too late sheikh says it's it's a it's a shame that sometimes the islamic sinners or the masjids they collect all that money and they do not pay this money or that zakat al fitr to the needy or the poor people that's a very shame it's a shame for the administration of such masjid so the zakat al fitr or sadaqa al fitr should be collected in, a, you know, like a, a, a special uh, boxes, for example. As Sheikh says, it has to be different than the uh, uh, regular zakat. Because the regular zakat is paid to the eight categories that most of us know while the zakat al fitr is paid only to poor and needy. Uh, all the scholars, there is actually like uh, <coughs> this agreement on that. <coughs> so Shafi'i has said that the recipients of the zakat al fitr are the same the recipients of the regular zakat of money. But Malik is said we have to make sure that zakat al fitr is only for poor and miskeen. Uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn al, -Ibn al Qayyim, and some of the scholars like Ibn, Ibn Baz uh, 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 they actually uh, uh, you know, adopted that 
that uh, idea or that uh, concept. Second question. <coughs> The Mu'adhin made a mistake uh, for the Maghrib Adhan. He started with a little bit of water, then he made the, the Adhan. But after, when he when he came to the Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, so he was kind of notified, you are wrong, <coughs> you did it earlier. <coughs> Sorry. Some people already already broke their fasting when they heard him giving the adhan. What is the hukm of that for the muaz for the muaddin and for the people who actually did that break fasting early? So the scholars actually the majority of the scholars they agreed on there is no sin on both of them. <coughs> and again, the majority of this scholar, they said it's wajib that uh, uh, that Mu'adhin, right, has to make up that day again. And that was adopted by the uh, Committee of Fatwa in Saudi. <coughs> So the committee got a question like uh, uh, the daughter of somebody told him, hey, uh, it's already the time of, uh, of Maghrib and the guy already broke his fasting and then he found out later that that was like few minutes early. <coughs> so the, the, the committee said, if you break your fasting after the sunset of, you know, sunset, so that's fine. Uh, if you have any doubt that you did it before the sun set, so you have to uh, make up that day. Some other scholars actually uh, uh, disagree with that. Among them, uh, Marwi, uh, Mujahid, and Al Hassan, and Ishaq, and Ahmed. Uh, uh, Al Muzni and Ibn Khuzayma and Ibn Taymiyyah also and Ibn Uthaymeen and other people said well like this guy was or that person uh, did it by a mistake he did not intend to that so as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Ahzab uh, like you are not ex you, know, you, you are not uh, accountable for whatever you have a mistake or did a mistake and uh, but the only thing that uh, when you intentionally uh, commit that mistake or do this mistake and indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghafoor and rahim also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in surah al-baqarah verse 8 uh, 286 when we are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, do not, uh, uh, you know, uh, do not uh, 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 put us in count if we uh, forget or if we uh, make mistakes and so on until the end of this ayah. So, in Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that dua for people who forget, who made things not intentionally. Remember also the uh, the ayah when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and drink and eat or eat and drink until you see this, uh, 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 the, the, like the, the, the uh, white lion from the li uh, dark uh, lion. <coughs> so some people actually thought it's uh, it's like a rope 
a, a black robe and a white robe. But you know, the Prophet Sallallahu said, no, it's in the whiteness and the darkness of the day and night, which is actually the dawn time. But if you continue, if you continue reading that story, the Prophet Sallallahu did not ask these people who made that mistake to uh, uh, make up that day. So, so Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, well, since the Prophet Sallallahu did not order them to make up that day, so that means that means it's a proof that uh, it's a mistake uh, they forgot whatever the reason because it's not intentionally uh, uh, committed so the Prophet وسلم, did not command or do not order their companions to uh, make up that day So the conclusion is, if you tell them you must make up, that's very tough decision. So again, give them this rukhsa. And uh, if they would like to make up that day, that's fine. If they cannot, well, the Prophet Sallallahu even did that with some of his uh, companions. A man is married from uh, a, a foreigner lady. Uh, she has uh, children from a pre previous marriage. Uh, should that man pay zakat on on her behalf and the kids, the children? As Sheikh says, zakat ul mal is obligated only on the Muslim people. If you are married to a non-Muslim lady, you don't have to pay zakat on her behalf. I'm talking about zakat ul fitr. And also the children, if they are not Muslims, if they're not Muslim, again, uh, they're not uh, required or eligible for that zakat al-fitr. If they are Muslims, even if, if uh, the mother is working and the children are working, so the father, it's the responsibility of zakat al-fitr. Uh, so, so the father is going to pay that on his uh, on the boy, on the on the behalf of his wife and the children. Again, if they are Muslims. <coughs> <coughs> As Sheikh says, for example, the children of that lady, uh, they are, if they are Muslims, uh, their father, not the father-in-law, is the one who should pay that that zakat al fitr, not the father-in-law. If the father was not Muslim, so that could be like a range between the father-in-law, the mother, and the uh, children-in-law. Or, I'm sorry, uh, the stepfather. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I mistranslate this one. The stepfather and the father and the uh, stepchildren. <coughs> Sheikh is trying to explain more and more in that point. So if you have stepchildren, for example, and they are living with you, so you actually spend on them 
that's among actually the uh, overall expenses that you pay that on their behalf. If some of them are not Muslims, well, well, they they're not actually uh, addressed by the verse of Allah that they should pay zakat al fitr because they do not fast. The last thing. Tomorrow is Eid, inshallah. Let's remind each one what what should we do in the night of Eid and the day of Eid. First of all, takbir after uh, Maghrib. Then we keep uh, making the takbir until we pray Eid. What is the description of Salatul Eid? Tomorrow, inshallah, this masjid is going to pray Salatul Eid at 8 a.m. We pray the two rakahs and then <coughs> and then khutbah. As Sheikh says, uh, Salatul, uh, uh, the khutbah of Eid is not a fard. So whoever would like to attend is fine. He would like to whomever uh, would like to leave just after the, the two rakahs is fine as well. The first rakah has like seven takbiras. The second rakah has, uh, uh, sorry, the first one has seven takbiras and the second one has five takbira. The takbir is, uh, everybody knows that Ibn Abbas said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Among the the uh, like the traditions, if you come from one 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 road, for example, uh, you know, leave the masjid, go back to your home from another uh, uh, road, so they could witness for you, especially when you make takbir during that uh, driving or that riding. It would be better if you put on the best clothes you have. Another thing, uh, it's it's it would be better if you uh, eat few dates before you leave to the Salatul Eid. So it was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ never left home without eating few dates. Again, the last one is just it's forbidden to fast the day of Eid. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, accept from all of us. Make us among those who uh, 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 give the best reward after this month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.